Actually, let me take this question from Seeker. Question, why do men mirror your convictions, marry you, then reveal years later that it was a lie? Okay, why do men mirror your convictions, marry you, then reveal years later that you lie? So um, I'm assuming this is a one man that this happened to, not that every single man you met, you dated, you married, and then they found out later. So let's differentiate between one man versus many men. So the reality is, as I said earlier, most human beings lie to themselves. They're not really truthful with themselves on where they're at in their emotional life. This is one of the reasons why I recommend everybody read the book, The Hoffman Process, The Hoffman Process. This is a deep dive into healing childhood wounds and traumas, childhood wounds and traumas that cause one to uh, create negative patterns and limiting beliefs in their lives. And what happens is these negative patterns, limiting beliefs causes one to really be unaware of how their emotional state of being is affecting another human being. Let me repeat that person who's trapped in their, in their woundedness is unaware that their actions can actually affect another human being. You know, the reality is, is many people actually lack a level of empathy for another human being in the dating process. The dating process is a very selfish, self-serving process. In fact, Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote the book Eat, Pray, Love, said today's American daters are the most narcissistic data on the planet. They want the best for themselves, but yet they're not willing to show up as their best. And by the way, she wasn't talking about men. She was talking about men and women alike. This is not singular. It is, it is actually, John Gottman even said, the first stage of love is about satisfying one's own needs. Second stage of love is caring about someone else's needs. And the third stage of love is the other person's needs become your needs. The reality is, is most people are dating rather selfishly, men and women alike. They're hyper-focused on getting their own needs met. They don't, by the way, very few people date from the premise of what I can give. Most people date from the premise of what I can get. And in fact, there's a lot of men and women out there that give to get. And they get so upset when they give, 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 and then they don't get what they want. And then they act like martyrs. You know, oh my God, I gave so much in the relationship and my partner gave me nothing. Well, you know what? That's on you. That's not their fault. If you, by the way, if you're, I want you to think of giving like this. If you give this much and they give this much, that difference, that difference is on you, not on them. You either meet each other at the same level or you move on. Because anytime someone says, I gave and I gave and I gave and I gave, but that other person didn't meet me, well, then why were you giving so much? Well, because I wanted him to change and I wanted to show him I loved him and I wanted to. No, a relationship is a two lane street, folks. It's a two lane street. You're tra either you're traveling together and at some point get in each other's car. But it, when it's a mismatch, it's never going to work. And you can't blame the other for doing something that because just because you gave more doesn't necessarily make it right. Okay, and not there is such a thing as right or wrong, but I just want you to know, you can't judge the other person when unless because what happens is when you give more and then you expect something from them, you just become a taker. Well, I expect you to give you as much as me because I just expect it. Well, that's what a taker does. That's not what a giver does. Giving love should come from a place of generosity, no matter how much the other person gives. But I will tell you relationships that are mismatched, it's because one person is giving way too much and it's on them to either meet where the other person is or move on. That's my invitation for you. Is this making sense? I hope so. Thank you, Seeker.